Let's now take you to Lambasi village, not too far. That's where we find SABC News reporter Fundiswa Mshekude for us. Uh, Fundiswa, of course, we know that here um, the rest of the family members uh, were buried. And we're talking here predominantly Simnina family who were also related to the Matu family. Uh, Mhatu family that was uh, buried where, of course, Onkuleko is, and that is Kwapala. Just talk to us about, you know, what transpired there today. In as far, of course, we saw how the traditional and the cultural practices were really symbolic for, for, for these burial services that took place today. Well, thank you very much, uh, Unati. Earlier on, oh, firstly, let me start by what tell you, telling you what happened in the morning. As early as six o'clock, we were at the Singina family household where the family members were busy preparing for this funeral. We then proceeded to the mortuary where the three families, the Dukuza family, the Singina family, as well as the Madu family, were fetching the bodies of their uh, family family members and uh, moving to the crime scene where they performed the, 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 the ritual of uh, fetching the souls of their loved ones by telling them that uh, you, are, you died here so we are taking you now to your place of uh, rest where you will rest there in peace but uh, right now we are at Lambasi uh, village where the premier of the province is delivering his keynote speech inside the marquee behind me earlier on we heard the families, the Madu fam rather the Juguza family, the Sinina family, the Gaulekapa family, they are also here expressing their disappointment that uh, the deceased were killed, allegedly killed by someone who is a convicted criminal, someone who has just been released uh, uh, by parole. So the Premier is delivering his message inside. He is saying that uh, the people of Pondolen must use the crime stop number or rather the, the extortion number or protection fee number that was recently released by the police to report such crimes that are happening because this area of Inguza Hill which includes Lusikisiki as well as Flagstaff is marred by gender based violence as well as femicide including domestic violence and these mass murders because earlier on I told uh, Chris Helder that the, 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 the issue of mass murders is very rife here in Lusikisiki we have come to these villages of Lukusikisiki to cover mass matters recently. And uh, the residents were saying that they are very concerned about the issue of the police who take time to arrive at crime scenes. Police who do not answer their calls when they call them to report the crime and taking time. But the Premier earlier on when we spoke to him, he said that they are strengthening the work of the police in the province to make sure that uh, they deal with with these criminal elements accordingly. He is speaking inside the families earlier on. They were very devastated when they saw the four horses uh, bringing in the bodies of the Singlina family as well as uh, the Duguza family and uh, the Gaulekapa family. They were so devastated that some could not take the, the sight. They could not uh, take it anymore. They could not bear the pain of seeing their loved one being laid to rest. And then we saw the premier joining the families as they buried those loved ones and uh, he said that uh, they are going to make sure that uh, the police in this area are visible to make sure that the communities as well as the residents including the families of the deceased are feeling safe because when we spoke to them earlier on they said they were not feeling safe because they don't know what may happen because earlier on they said that they find solace in knowing that one uh, suspect has been uh, arrested and they are hoping that he may reveal the names of the people that he was he worked with in killing those families unati right uh, let's uh, in fact let's uh, leave it for now